I'm Pastor George Barkhart, and this is another Higher Things video short. Wokeism and its compatibility with Christianity. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, taking on the culture and passing on the faith to the next generation, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, Get our app. It's available on all major platforms. Share. Share our content. Sharing is caring when it comes to higher things. And donate. A tax-deductible gift to higherthings.org keeps us putting the gospel into the ears of youth all over the world. We need this gospel. You do too. It's Wednesday, and Wednesday means Woke Wednesday. Erica Jacoby she is the executive director of Higher Things. You're going to have to introduce your dog in just a wee bit. We can't see her when the split screen, but when we when we kill the oh. split screen, I'll give it to you. She is the executive director of Higher okay. Things, former public school teacher and woke expert. Erica, I'm going to disappear that. and you're going to introduce your dog. Okay. And then you're going to tell me You're about... going to decrease so that I can increase? What? Define wokeism. You're not the only one who can make jokes here, buddy. They have to be funny. What are my instructions again? What what what, what, what are my instructions again? And okay. You, and you and who is using it and what is in the context? And I'm gonna go bye bye, and push just okay. push against the the wall, and I'll be gone. Okay. 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 So, Pastor Borghardt is not the only one who has pet buddies. This is Ginger next to me here. I'm gonna I'm gonna. This is Ginger sleeping calmly and sweetly. She's my um, 10 year old standard poodle. Anyway, I'm so I have homework to do. So I'm going to talk to you about wokeism, which is a slightly different twist on the word woke. So let's review what woke is really quickly. Um, very simply, I'm going to quote Miriam Webster's, Web, Miriam Webster's dictionary definition. Um, and that simply says that woke means aware of and actively intent attentive to important facts and issues, especially issues of racial and social justice. So that is um, the definition of woke. Um, and I don't think anyone would argue or disagree with the fact that um, being aware of, of racial inequality and caring about um, justice for everybody is a bad thing. However, I will say I read this on the internet. I thought it was kind of funny that um, <clears throat> if you didn't know the meaning of woke, that means you you aren't. So FYI. Um, so now you're now you can be woke because I've defined it for you. Now wokeism is um, a term that has developed since uh, woke. The word woke has come about in in um, modern parlance. Um, and it's a term that has been developed by those who are actually critical of woke philosophy and, and sort of woke culture, critical race theory, um, the cancel culture, um, the Black Lives uh, uh, Movement, Black Lives Matter movement. And the term wokeism refers to folks who see being woke um, as the embody, embodiment of sort of modern secularism, or in other words, it's sort of a new modern religion in America. Um, so it's the idea that if there is a civil religion in the USA, it will be called wokeism. So it's a critique. It's a term that's critical. As to context, who is using it, um, it's, like I said, people who are sort of critical of woke philosophy. And one, one such recent example of that was the Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, on his last day um, as the top U.S. diplomat, um, actually used the term wokeism. Um, and he says that it's it's progressive identity politics and not who America is. Um, he sees, here's a direct quote, censorship, wokeness, political correctness, it all points in one direction, authoritarianism cloaked as moral righteousness, he wrote. And that's where the sort of the critique of um, it being a religious movement comes in. Um, so, yeah, it's similar. He, he also went on to say it's similar to what we're seeing at Twitter, Facebook, and Apple, and on too many university campuses today. We talked about this last week. It's not who we are. It's not who we are as Americans, and it's not uh, what the voice of America should be. And now he made these remarks on January 11th. He said, simply, quite simply put, it is time to put wokeism to sleep. 
So that's kind of in a nutshell, the idea of what wokeism is. So I, I think this is, um, based on a conversation I've had with my son, that this is merely an American phenomenon. Okay. Um, more as so far American. As we're using it today. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right. Uh, what is the evidence that this is the new American religion? Yeah. The new Western sort of religion. Um, so there are folks who are, you can Google this all you want. You'll, you'll get a lot that kind of comes up with wokeism. Um, it's hard to spell. Some people spell it W O K I S M. Some do the whole W O K E I S M. You'll, you'll find stuff on it either way. Lots of folks are sort of blogging about it. So if you want more information, I encourage you to do so. Um, but many questions, many, many Christians are questioning sort of the ideologies and the woke worldview. Now, there are some things that overlap, right? And I'll talk about that in a little bit, uh, I think, with Christianity. But the critics are saying that um, just like Christianity, wokeism offers its own doctrine. Um, and I'm going to reference a book by a man named Ibram X, uh, fairly well used and quoted. He wrote a book called Kendi's How to Be an Anti-Racist. Um, and this is kind of what he outlines. So wokeness has its own worldview. Um, and he says that there is no such thing as a non-racist idea, only racist ideas and anti-racist ideas. Um, so that's the worldview. Um, the vice in the re religion is capitalism. He says capitalism is essentially racist. Racism is essentially capitalist. Um, so, um, he also says racism is threatening the life of human society with nuclear war and climate damage. And the way one sort of redeems themselves in this religion is he says the only remedy to racist discrimination is anti-racist discrimination. So it's kind of Hammurabi's code, you know, um, pay evil sort of with evil. Um, the only remedy to past discrimination is present discrimination. The only remedy to president present discrimination is future discrimination. And there are even woke teachers and prophets. Um, there may not be churches with pul pulpits, um, but there are cro corporate training sessions. Um, it, it's showing up in, in um, public education and on social media platforms. Um, one such example is a lady by the name of Ashley Shackelford, um, who um, is a black speaker and activist who tweeted a video of herself teaching pre a predominantly white audience, um, and wherein she said, all people are racist. She says whites are always going to be racist, actually. And then she goes on to say that she believes uh, that y'all are born into a life to not be human, and that is what y'all are taught to do, to be demons. So she claims the Caucasians remain racist, even when you're on the path to trying to figure out how to be a better human being. And she's sort of not the only example, but she does sort of exemplify. She's a, she's the person who's teaching this sort of fundamental shift in ideology. Um, there are good people and bad people and, uh, you know, sinners and saints in wokeism. Good people are woke. Bad people get canceled. Um, wokeism attributes intrinsic guilt or innocence to the individual, kind of depending on their group identity, regardless of their individual actions. Um, and then the penance you can do is um, you can express remorse for crimes that you not necessarily have personally committed, but for things that have been done by people whose skin color is similar to yours. So an example of this is Demi Lovato tweeted relatively recently when all this has, go has gone down in the last year. She said, all I knew was that I hated that I shared the same skin color of the people accused of committing heinous crimes against Ahmaud Aubrey, Breonna Taylor, and George Floyd, and many, many other black lives, Lovato said. Um, so those are, those are what um, bloggers and people are saying about wokeism, that it's, they're sort of identity, identifying it now as having the status of being religious. Um, and so I was thinking about this and kind of struggling with this, Pastor Borkhart, because I think um, there is good to be said. There's compassion and a desire for justice. And that's, that's a really good thing. And that is not incompatible with the Christian faith. Um, and the church has traditionally throughout history worked um, to see the lives of others improve, um, it, it, taking care of the marginalized. Um, and that those, those behaviors of the church are consistent with the teachings of Christ. Um, 
And Christians have sort of never claimed that there are not disparities in society. They haven't excused it. They've worked to sort of um, offset it. Um, still, the point that, that wokeism has different interpretations for the concepts of truth, justice, and equity, and leaves no room in the conversation for alternative ways of addressing those issues is, is concerning. So my question to you, Pastor Borkhart, this is where I love to throw the hardest question at you. Um, do you think wokeism is incompatible with the biblical worldview, or is it compatible? What do you think? First, I'm going to take a sip from my higher things cup. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for that. Product placement. HigherThings.org slash merchandise. All right. There's it's so, a lot. It's a lot today. so much it's wrong there. Okay. All right. First of all, anything which doesn't begin and end with the suffering and death of Jesus is anti-Christian. Any God which doesn't suffer and die for the sins of the world, and his name is Jesus, is anti-Christian, okay? So the idea that we have a religion which is based upon works is anti-Christian. Where people are justified by the color of their skin is also anti-Christian. -uh, it's antithetical to the Christian faith where there is no Jew nor Greek, slave nor free man, all... Uh, the tenets of this religion where you are justified in hating others based upon what they did or didn't do, but you're justified in it because of the color of their skin. And that the answer to the evils that are done is, 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 is to return the evil to those that did the evil. This is antithetical to the Christian faith. We don't see it because we feel some sort of guilt because of, because of, of past transgressions by races against other races. We don't see it because we handed off our kids to the public school and they were indoctrinated into this religion, either beknownst to us or unbeknownst to us. We don't see it because we buy the tenets of it. Maybe this is related to original sin or, or the like, but the, the, it stops at the shore in which baptism doesn't cleanse your sin. So the answer to um, Martin Luther King said something about we must never, ever get to the point in which we we turn. We, we be, and I'm paraphrasing it, but we, be, we, we we cease being oppressed only to oppress those who oppressed us. But again, I can't quote that because I'm not a priest of the religion. You're looking up the quote. I can tell. So I'm um, trying to help you out here. But 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 the point here is 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 where there's a lack of forgiveness, where there's hate, justify, justified, all those things are antithetical to the Christian faith. And not only is capitalism bad, but Western culture is bad, which is one step away from the actual confession that young people would recognize as evil, which is Christianity is bad. I mean, that's what, that's what's going on. And I hate to put the aluminum hat on and sound that way, but that's what's going on. So we got to be aware of this in our kids. And we have, we have to help them with breadcrumbs. Because if you just say, wokeism is evil, they're not going to get it. But we have to sort of breadcrumb them to, to say, okay, so you're, so you're hating people who you feel oppress other people. And that's justified because, you know what I mean? What does it say? Okay, your faith is based on Jesus. What does it say about a, a culture and a, and, a, and, a, and a religion that doesn't forgive or a culture and religion that, which is anti-Christian or anti-mom um, and dad? How's that work? Your thoughts, your, your comments at the end here. Well, um, there's, there's a lot here. Um, I would say, um, I would just caution, I guess, against... Um, you know, um, judging out of hand anything. I've participated in programs in the public school that were actually extraordinarily helpful, um, which were sort of uh, racial studies um, as a teacher. And none of them uh, pushed this idea of um, 
um, of what we talked about in wokeism today. And those were extraordinarily helpful in me in understanding the cultural backgrounds and the needs of my students. Um, so I would just caution against, um, you know, just throwing out the baby with the bathwater um, because I do think that um, there are injustices that exist in this world. And I don't wish to deny any of those things or to put a stop to uh, people who are trying to bring those to light and to change those things. So I don't want us as an organization um, to be quoted as saying, you know, we don't want anything to do with anything like that, which is absolutely, and you've said it yourself, that that's not what we're after. But I just wish to make that clear that there are there are some things that are um, some um, some workshops that I've been to and things that have been helpful, um, definitely, um, uh, in, in dealing and being more compassionate and understanding with my students. And I think those types of things are called for. Um, I'm concerned about wokeism, which is why I brought, brought it up. Um, and I, I think you've, um, I think you kind of hit the nail on the head when you talked about, um, wokeism being antithetical to forgiveness and, uh, Christianity is all about forgiveness. Um, lavished upon us um, in Christ and in His death and resurrection, and um, and so I, I think that's the I think that's the takeaway. Erica Jacoby and Ginger, uh, the executive director of Higher Things, she is the face that runs the place. Thank you, Erica. Thank you. Got to be very careful. The devil is in the details. Something can be very good at helping you examine yourself. Uh, looking at how you treat others and how you want to be treated. Uh, when it crosses the line into hating your neighbor, not forgiving your neighbor, when there's guilt without an absolution or guilt without any sort of out other than suffering. Now think about these things. Think about these things. And we'll continue to talk about these things. It's a very important topic for parents and for young people. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.